Washington State champions, our next inductee, has another unique status. He's just the second man to ever win an IHSAA Boys Basketball State Championship a player, win an NCAA Division I National Championship as a player, and serve as head coach of an IHSAA Boys Basketball State Championship team. That's a mouthful. In 1971, he was the leading scorer on the championship team, averaging 23.3 points a game and 10 rebounds. His 68 points in their state final games included 40 in the semifinals against Floyd Central, which tied the single game record in state finals history, and 28 in the championship game over Elkhart. He set the record for the most field goals in the state finals with 30. He hit the most uh, final field, I'm sorry, and hit the final field goal of the state finals history at Hinkle Fieldhouse. He was the only unanimous AP number one team, all state selection in 71, and as an Indiana All-Star scored 30 with 18 rebounds in the two games against Kentucky. One of only three Indiana men to play for Hall of Famer John Wooden at UCLA. He was a part of teams that went 84 and 7, won the 73 and 75 national championships. He was a starter on Wooden's final team, the 75 Bruins. He was drafted by the NBA Detroit Pistons and the ABA San Diego Sales. Among his coaching stops, he led East Chicago Central to the 2007 4A Class Championship victory, meaning he joined only Hall of Famer Jay McCreary to have captured IHSAA and NCAA championships as players and coaches and IHSAA champion. He also spent three seasons coaching at Indiana University Northwest, where his son led the NAIA nationally in scoring. Still a teacher in East Chicago, please welcome 2011 inductee Pete Turgovich Jr. That would be my sister Barbie. She's, she's been able to do some strange and unusual cheers like what you did at Munster. Next, I'd like to thank my the head of the Booster Club. That would be my late sister Annette. Even today, when I think about her, she puts a smile on my face. Next, I'd like to thank the head of the Pom Poms. That would be my sister Emily. When Emily was in high school, she was a Griffith Panther Red, and she must have been the best ever because everybody knows when Emily's in the gym. Next, I'd like to thank uh, the head of basketball operations in my house. That would be my wife, Helen. She has an input in every decision, major or minor, or at least that's what the kids and I lead her to believe. <laughs> Everybody dreams about going to the homecoming dance with the homecoming queen. Well, I had the homecoming angel in my house. That would be my daughter, Elena. She plays tennis for the University of Wisconsin. She's the perfect daughter. She has never asked for or received any special treatment from her father. <laughs> Every team has an MVP. Well, the MVP of my life went from being my son, to being my star player, to being my best friend. Uh, the most valuable person in my life has got to be my son, Pete, and, but he does know he shares that title with the homecoming angel. <laughs> Ever, behind every good coach is a great assistant coach. You've all heard that saying before. Well, the title assistant coach would not be good enough for the one in my house, so we nominated my mother, Barbara, as the first associate head coach. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to play for who they, uh, the man that was called the, the coach of the century. He was nominated coach of the century. Now, Coach Mulda, you know I'm talking about John Wood, right? <laughs> but, but it almost made me laugh when I saw it because Coach Wood would be second in my household because uh, next to my father, nobody has ever sacrificed more for his team than my father, Pete Sr. Um, also, I'd like to thank all the, all the fans, uh, meaning my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, my Uncle Mark's over here, uh, my brother-in-laws, my sister -in -law. I don't have any sister-in-laws, right? Okay, even them too, them too. But I'm not naive enough to think that I could have done this all by myself without a little help from my friends. I know that without a certain group of guys, I could have never gotten to UCLA. I know without those same guys, I could have never played for John Wynn. I know for those same guys that I would never have been part of the greatest dynasty that basketball has ever seen. So, 
could everybody help me and one more time thank the 71 centers for me. Thank, yeah. thank you guys. I'm sure all of you appreciate, and have been here before, the expediency with which our inductees have conducted themselves. Uh, we had hoped to be out 